Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with the Wayfinders pack. We are still, Feather is still sick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she is down to 34%. This is, mm, this is nerve wracking. But the other puppies are all, well, and including Feather weight wise, they're all doing pretty well. They're all above 15, except for Cricket and Crow, who is our runt. So we're about ready to be able to set out on the journey to the rendezvous site. In fact, we'll probably have to go look around and see what rendezvous sites are available soon. But these guys are getting pretty hungry again. Well, a little bit hungry at least. So we'd probably be wise to um, to go out and go hunting and check the territory. And in fact, I should check the territory here. Okay, pups go in the den. Pups go in the den. That's not what I expected, but you know what? That's just as bad. Um, stranger wolves is what I was worried about. Somewhere around here, there is a cougar, apparently. It's not the suspicious stump. Someday there's going to be a cougar right by the suspicious stump, and I'm not going to see it because I'm used to the stump being there. Um, where is it? Hello? It was up here last time. I don't know where it actually is, though. Um... Hello? Cougars hide. That's the scary thing about them. They hide and you can't always see them. Crow, do not. Crow, go back in the den. You are too bold for your own good. Go back in the den, sir. Sir, I need you to go back in the den. Um, hello? Where is the cougar? I can't find it. I don't blame Crow for poking his head back out, but my gosh. Hello? Oh, he's right up here. He's right up here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I've seen you. It's over. Once you spot them, they're usually pretty good about running. But spotting them, well, that's the challenging part. All right, so we have territory to attend to. We got to get up there quick because it looks like the uh, Crevice Lake pack is doing a number on our territory. We got to move... I'm gonna try to head out well. I think we'd be best off if we bring Raven with us. Um, let's do that. Let's howl for her. And we're gonna go take a look at some of the territory that's going on. Uh, try to deal with that. Make sure that uh, that doesn't get out of hand. Try to find some food along the way. So I'm gonna head off that way and we'll catch up with them in a little bit. There's some mule deer here. I think we're gonna go ahead and do a quick hunt because these guys can't hurt to fill them up a bit more on food. They both are a little bit hungry, so uh, when doesn't never hurts to bring down a mule deer along the way. And these two are pretty, pretty getting pretty proficient at hunting mule deer. Raven is really locked onto that deer. Oh my gosh, running right into the middle of an elk herd. Uh, oh, there she's breaking off a bit. We're gonna try to get a little closer. Yeah, don't stop running. That was a mistake on your part. Because uh, we're right here. Hopefully Raven will join back in and get another bite in. Yep, there she goes. Shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, it might be good to have our food up so that when we get the chance, we're able to just easily feed the pups. And uh, so that we're not too hungry either. Just want to make sure all is well with that. And maybe we'll bring back another moose calf or of uh, elk calf for a fawn too, if we can if we can find one. But uh, at the very least, it doesn't hurt to have some food you can regurgitate for the pups. So here we go, almost down. Raven, do you want to finish? Oh, okay, or not? Well, let Aiden do it then. There we go. One health, literally one HP left. That's wild. All right, let's let them eat, and then we'll go see what the state is with that one. Um, territory up here. I don't know why they haven't claimed it, but if they... I, I get the sense that they're about to start any time now, so we better hurry. Oh, somewhere around here there's some kind of fawn or calf. Could be elk, because I do um, see elk scent in the breeze, although actually I also see moose. I think we're gonna go ahead and try and track down this moose and see if it has a calf. And if so, then that'll be a good snack to bring back the puppies, unless we see who's been the source of this music. No, I can't really see. Oh, nope, that's not. All right, we'll, we'll try and track down that moose. I gotta mark one. Oh, I, I didn't mark the territory. Okay. Well, we gotta go back and do that, and then we'll see if we can find that moose. Oh, that's an elk mother. Let's actually take a look around and see if we can find the baby because we've got to um oh it's raining uh raven i want you to go back to the pups 
I want you to make sure that if the den floods, they're not there by themselves. I don't know. I hope that's the right decision, but we got more marking we need to do. So we gotta be really cautious because I don't want any puppy just getting thrown out in the open if the den decides to flood while we're away. We are very far from our home territory. I'm probably not gonna spend too long, well, I mean, we're in our territory, but from our, our den, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna spend too long looking around for this baby because we, we gotta, we gotta kinda hurry. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna break off. We've got enough food to be able to feed. Unless it's like right here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, we gotta just finish marking and then we're gonna go and try to get back to the pups because I'm a little bit worried now every time that it rains. Oh, hey. Wow. Well, <laughs> I just when I was about to give up, I had gone and marked. We happened to cross... Those are coyotes. We happened to cross the, um... The mother again on the way back from the scent post, and uh, apparently that was where the baby was. So we do have extra food to bring back for the pups. Just want to go and finish marking the territory, and then we'll go back and see how they're doing. I'm a little worried about Feather because, as you can see by her paw print, she's not feeling too well right now, and uh, I'm a little bit concerned. But also. Even if the sickness isn't what kills them, it also makes them very vulnerable to predators because if they are already low health and they get attacked by a cougar or a bear, uh, it doesn't give you much chance to uh, intervene. So I'm going to hurry up, mark this, and then head back as soon as I possibly can. The good news is Raven already went back and I'm actually following her trail pretty much exactly now. She's already back at the den. So hopefully, if anything does happen, the den does flood, the pups will be okay because she's there. But I'm still gonna hurry and get home as soon as I can. Here we are, home sweet home, thank goodness. And the pups are very happy to see us by the looks of it too. So we're gonna go ahead and we will drop this carcass for them, give them the chance to eat. They are pretty hungry. So let's go check on Feather and see how she's doing. Make sure we get that nice companionship effect and take a good look around to see if anything's sneaking up on us in this rain. <laughs> uh, every time it storms, every time it storms, I'm gonna be anxious now. I, it's so, such a paradox because I love the rain IRL. It's it's nice, it's, it's great. I live in a desert, we don't get much of it. Here in game though, it's a very scary phenomenon because at best it reduces your visibility if it doesn't necessarily cause an outright den flood. I think I just saw some of the flowers in the distance. I thought I saw something moving and I thought it might be coyotes. So I think we're all right though. We'll kind of hang out here for a bit. Just keep an eye on everybody. How are the puppos doing? They're doing all right. Hopefully this will deter more stranger wolves from showing up uh, because that, boy, that's um, that's always something when it happens. That's just the ground, isn't it? I keep seeing little little dark patches. I guess it told us that we can't socialize more right now anyway. I keep seeing weird dark patches and thinking it's something and it's not. It's just dirt or just ground or whatnot. But we'll hang out here for a little bit. Aiden is getting pretty tired, but we do of course want to lend as much companionship as we can to Deer Feather here in hopes that uh, She's, oh, she's down at 27, that's so bad. Oh man, that's, that's, that's worrying. <laughs> um, but uh, it also looks like Crow is almost to 14 pounds, so we're probably gonna wanna search for a rendezvous site pretty soon here. We're definitely getting close, Briar. Please do not. We're getting pretty close to, um, to when uh, that can be something that we want to be taking a look at. Oh, look at Autumn with her little stick. That's so cute. <laughs> I love how the pups can play with things that they find at the den. I, I just, the pups are great. They're adorable and it, it's heartbreaking when bad things happen. It makes me really, really sad. And I'm really worried about these guys for sure. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just hang out here. Okay, it's telling me to take a break again. I think they're pretty much full on socialization anyway. So I think we're all right, but we probably will wrap up pretty soon here because it is getting a little bit late. Just want to kind of hang out with them for a little bit and uh, hopefully, hopefully all goes well and uh, Feather will recover soon. Hopefully, I I'm, I'm hoping like she'll just get better overnight. 
but I'm not sure, so we'll have to see. But we'll find that out. Oh! Oh no! Briar too? Oh, this just gets worse and worse. Well, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.